皆さんようこそ船の戦い始めましょう。ジムレスマ。So、uh, you're watching ジムレスマ as usual. Let's, ju let's just begin this.、Uh, otherwise, cringe modism will,、uh, will take over and that will be unacceptable. So,、uh, as promised, we're pitching the winners. The ones that have won against the broadsword in the first match, we will pitch them against the upgraded broadsword. And、uh, you can find the upgraded broadsword on the workshop because I have done a good job updating it. Oh, yes. Is that some beautiful EMP damage? Did we kill some detection? No. Oh, damn. I think it was well protected. Well, that makes sense. Anyways. Now it's、uh, Dead Pirate Lenny's Floyd ship. That will be、uh, pitched again against the Broadsword. It has some serious LAM system going on there. What is this? It's like proper LAM turret thing with detection and shit. Man, it's like taking out a lot of the incoming APS shells as well. Damn, and we're so quick that I wonder if. I don't think we can turn quick enough for this thing. Highly interesting. And how does it deal damage? It uses those、uh, azopods or whatever they're called. They're like modern stuff. I just don't like them. I think they are.、Uh, I don't want to use them for my designs because,、um, as you probably have noticed by now,、uh, I build my ships in some kind of.、Uh, I don't know, diesel punk anime fantasy world. I'm. I'm I like the diesel punk theme, and. I don't know if you watch anime. You don't have to watch anime. It's okay to not watch anime. But,、uh, what was it called? I saw, I saw a good one a couple of years ago that was called. Do, 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 do,、uh, Last Exile. And they have a pretty cool. Adaptation on like diesel punk combined with like uh, uh, 1800s combat thing, and they're cool. I like, the, I like the, their style, and、uh, sometimes I get a little bit inspired by that. And、uh, I, I guess I mash that together with Warhammer 40k, even though I don't know very much about Warhammer 40k. I like their、uh, architecture. Oh, are you kidding? Did Oh man, that was such a good hit, almost. It looked like it would wipe this entire tower out, but it didn't. Mate, Dead Part Le Len is going a little bit low, but.、Um, or the Floyd is going low, and the broadsword is、uh, keeping on bearing. We're, we're like launching shells here. What? Hmm. Very interesting indeed. No, we're getting out of. It's, does it escape? No? Oh, the lamb can't take it out. That's some explosions. Why did I make the water like more? I think I made the water like this because I thought it would give us better FPS. If it does, I don't notice it. We're like a solid 30 FPS, which is absolutely disgraceful. 60 FPS is what you need. At least for watching videos. Playing games, you want 100. At least. I rarely get that if I play new, new titles, but、uh, that's another story. Right. Broadsword is down to 92 percentages, so we have taken some damage.、Um, I wonder. Is our main gun still online? Doesn't really look like it. Whoop, now I clicked the wrong buttons. Okay, so let's check out the broadsword here. Yeah. Dead Pirate has taken out our main gun with the Floyd. That's sad for us. We got a broadside, of course.、Um, We don't seem to be able to. Do, we, we don't seem to take substantial EMP damage this time.、Uh, this is more like a damage de dealing thing. But now. Oh, the crams won't. Like, only a few of them get through. And.、Uh, 
a lot of them are aiming for above water, which is the AA ones. They do that. The simple weapons do damage. Ah, this is exciting. Oh, no. Look. Our torpedo. Oh, it delivered this EMP charge there. That's beautiful. So Floyd is going a little bit low. Broadsword has like uh, gained back a few units of percentages there. Uh, like at this rate, I think the main gun is back online, isn't it? Yeah, boy. God, that's fast. So those percentages must have basically been the main gun that was killed. Now the main gun is back, though. Which means we have a chance to get through this serious LAM system. Like, DPL has made some pretty impressive LAMs here. They just zap, zap, zap. They take stuff out. Like... I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm not gonna, you know, I, I don't think it's like this, but it kind of looks like, uh, like, the Floyd has, like, the, the, the Megalodon lamb system, because it, like, does the same thing. Zap, 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 taking quick shells out. Maybe it is the, maybe, think if it's the Megalodon's lambs. I don't think it is. It just has the same color. Come on, broadside. Mm. And they're kind of aiming for... They're supposed to aim at... They're not supposed... Yeah, I don't know, man. I think they're supposed to aim below the surface. But I don't know. I don't remember changing something like that. But maybe it's just... Uh... Now this APS system is supposed to aim for above the surface. Does it even do that? Yeah, it does. It skims the surface. God, I'm a change, change block. All right then. So the main gun is online now. Dead pirate lane is in the lead again. But oh, oh, are you kidding me? Dead pirate lane has zero materials. So does the broadside. Come on, mate. This is just ridiculous. And now we get this swarm. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, so... This will be highly interesting. Because our cram cannons are loaded. If the Floyd has no materials left, it means she will stop. She will stop dead in its track. That means, eventually, the broadsword will be able to turn. And when it will be able to turn, we will be able to shoot the broadside. And when we'll shoot the broadside, we might win. Because the lamps shouldn't be working, yeah? And we can see, we're, we're, like, we're like dealing damage still. Now... How much damage is the dead part Len dealing against us? I wonder. Broadsword is down to 90 though. This can end either way. But zero materials... Like a zero material versus zero material battle has never been this exciting. It's not boring yet. Damn! Are you serious? That's some hardcore stuff. But why is only part of the AI? Why is only... Oh, is it? No? Like, not the entire thing is on rubber. So, this can be damaged by EMP, right? I don't think the capacitors do take EMP damage, but this one does, yeah. Oh well. And they lead EMP, though. Broadsword is 88. Dead pirate Lenny Floyd is down to 94, which is up to 94 rather. 
but there is no materials. So I think this might be one of those cases where um, DPL has actually spent too much on repair bots. So the repair bots just ate up all the materials dealt to the Floyd to repair the Floyd. So now she's got no materials left. So now she can't deal any damage. So now, yeah, this is it. And uh, like 5% of the damage dealt uh, will get back to materials. So the broadsword gets materials from slowly, slowly dealing damage against uh, DPL. But of course, some of that material is used to repair. Some of that material is used to... Uh, yeah. So that's an, like, this is like an unfortunate range. Um, God damn it, we should, have, we should have had sails or something like that. It would be nice if we just lined up to a proper broadside, which looks like we are going to do that. Come on, mate. Come on. Mm. Oh, yeah. I think... Like, I, I say it again. A zero versus zero material battle has never been this interesting. Oh, oh, the light arms broadside is out. Man. Okay, the light, the light arms. Oh, oh, look, that pirate land is sinking. Are you relying on propellers to keep afloat? What a mistake. It's good you didn't, uh, the, oh, you, oh, you did use the alloy. Pesky alloy. So, of course you can use alloy, it's just that in From the Depth, uh, if you're new to the game, we kind of have this little thing of having our own, like, designs or, like, own, like, um, preferences for how to design and do stuff. And we just, like, maniacally keep to that. And uh, there is a thing where... On my camp, we criticize the use of alloy for ships because it doesn't give as much armor as a health point as uh, uh, metal does. It's light, but uh, it floats, which is good, but wood also floats. So if you combine metal and wood, it's better than using like alloy, um, f I don't know, to some extent. This thing would be too top heavy. So this thing uses alloy for the top part, because otherwise it would be so top-heavy that we couldn't be, you know, standing upright. So, you know, we have some exceptions, but um, that's kind of that. But anyways, in my camp, we uh, look down upon uh, alloy and, uh, and uh, decking. And funny enough, I used decking for this thing too because I couldn't have two. I couldn't have enough layers, so I could only have like one layer. So and then it was like I wanted to look like wood, except around the turret I made an exception, but I wanted to make like wood, so it had to be decking. But yeah, that's kind of that. But you know what? Um, Floyd is sitting here at the bottom of the ocean, looking like a very sad boy. Uh, are you kidding? Are you dealing damage? Uh, what's up with this? Like, what's up with this? <laughs> yeah, okay, so... Uh, Dead Pirate Lenny spends all the materials on, uh, on repairing. And... Uh, or like shooting pot shots at each other from time to time. Are we having so little materials we can't shoot back anymore or what? Oh god damn it. And dead pirate land is back to 90. Oh, come on. Mm. It's what? Oh, 10 minutes. It's went 10 minutes. Damn. And, and now we come to this like... Technically, the Floyd has 90, 92% now because, like, put all the materials back into repairing. And the broadsword has a lower 85 percentages, but the broadsword is still, like, floating. 
And we might do like some damage to get back and... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. This looks like a draw to me. This looks like a draw. We're not gonna sit here and wait and see what happens. It takes... 10 minutes in game time. It's been 15 minutes in this like... Yeah. So, we have another draw. Very nice. Dead Pirate Lenny. Broadsword. We have a draw. Cool, we have two draws for the rematches. That's kind of cool. Uh, so, let us... Uh, no, wrong buttons. Let's get out of here. Now, no one is firing at anyone. You look uh, very sad sitting there, I must say. But uh, that's a draw. That's a draw. Anyways, good game, good battles. And again, again, again. The, the most exciting battle with zero versus zero materials I've ever seen. And probably will ever see. Maybe you never know. From the depth is weird. Lord have mercy on me. <laughs> <laughs> We're back. The Secret Advisor's Woodinator Gigantua is back and this thing is a lag fest thing, bad boy. It's wood spamming. Spam, 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 spam. All wood, solid wood, everything is wood, 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 wood. Together with a wood powered with some absolutely insane APS cannons that surprisingly has a little bit of heavy armor on them. And these are like armor piercing, uh, armor piercing frag or something. They're just a death sentence. So we'll see. Uh, start the battle. This is scary. Oh man! Did he miss the first shot? You can see. You saw that. They just, th they just go through. I just wanna. I just want to see if we have an incoming shell here. So here we have whatever wh whatever is this like. What the hell? That's that's doing some serious damage. Mine. Yeah, we don't need to run this battle in slow motion. It's kind of we'll see how slow it will be. Broadsword is down with five percentages in a few seconds. You can see these shells go through us, and uh, like times like this, I I feel it might would have been more more fair to actually let the broadsword face the enemy with ninety degrees directly, so it would be able to broadside without the time of turning. But um, actually, I had like an idea with uh, why I wanted this and that was that the front of the ship would take the damage and then when we're turning for the broadside would deal the main damage but like in costs this main turn is damn expensive so I think that uh, <laughs> it it's probably a bad strategy okay so the secret advisor down to 99.2 percent but the broadsword is down to 95 and here we have armor piercing EMP and I don't know what happened with these EMP charges oh here we got some damage going on here we didn't get instantly AI deaded this time that's a that's a improvement oh beautiful now we're getting to broadside range right and those shields will bounce some of those uh, real kill shots sometimes. And this time, the uh, we might actually have a use for our uh, revolting blast guns. I mean revolving blast guns. It's getting old, Jim, with this. I'm stop saying that. So, uh, oh, broadsiding. Yes, yes. Do some damage. So, of course, we're like... The, you can see this is like aim point spoofing. It's like we exploded a huge hole here. Five meters, six meters of wood. Yeah, that's an armor. Uh, and everything just gets blown away, but not the matter because everything important is far behind. Far be, be within. 
for f further within. We probably, like, if I would set up the broadsword to specifically fight this ship, I think I would set it to target heavy blocks. You can see these shots, they do some damage, they do. Man. Look how small we are. Man. What is this? Are you kidding me? Are you, what, what, did you, you went out of range. Oh, it can't aim at us anymore. Amazing. Oh, I will be so happy if I win this thing because this thing is terrifying. It's absolutely scary, man. The broadsword is down to 91 percentages, though. And what is this? Yeah, that's the that's the spam cannons there. Yeah. Now the broadsword is a little bit damaged, so I think it decides to switch broadsides now. And if we would have manually controlled this thing, that would probably not have been the smartest thing to do, but uh, we're not manually controlling this thing, and we need to rely on our setup AI settings. Very, very, very uh, control. No, very, 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 very uh, conservative. Yes. Hmm. Our main gun is unfortunately very sad. Somehow it kind of thinks it can shoot. God damn it, will it? Okay, this will be interesting. The cannon still shoots at us, but what? Oh no. Is it that our AI is dead? Oh yes. Our, uh, our AI is fried away. It's very much fried. It has successfully penetrated and killed our AI. So now I don't, I don't, uh, let's see here. I don't, I don't know which AI computer has taken over. Because we're obviously not AI dead. We have some AI computer. No. Oh, the broadsword has zero materials. Oh no. It got zero materials. And the secret advisor repaired back to my... No, it didn't repair. Does it repair? I don't think it repairs. It's just that it's so damn big. Oh no, it can't keep itself upright. Oh no, I thought I almost could have won this thing, but we just ate through the materials. And the AI got dead dead. It got shot. Oh well. Yeah, so this battle is not going to change very much. We don't have any... We don't have any cannon that deals damage against it right now. I don't know what's happening with the uh, torpedoes. They're like in there, so they should fire, except they don't. But yeah, <clears throat> uh, this battle won't, won't probably in most likely turn anyway. So um, we would have to declare this another win for the uh, Secret Advisor's Woodinator Gigantua. Very good job. A very good job indeed. Very, 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 very good job. Ha! Huh, damn, the broadsword just eats too much materials. It's. Uh, it turns out, it it is expensive to keep a sh a ship this big, with only this part in the water. Uh, yeah, not a big surprise, but uh, that's how it is. So, anyways, we will be moving on. We're back with another hardcore thing here. This is Shotgun's uh, His Majesty's paper. His Majesty's ship or Her Majesty's ship. Dependent on uh, uh, Shotgun lives in a country with a queen or a king. So uh, 
yeah, this was a pretty like min maxed up stuff. I think it was. I think it was pretty decent actually. Oh, look, we have wood. No, stone wood. Yeah. So, anyways, uh, I don't know if it had paint. I don't think so. This will be kind of interesting. <clears throat> So, oh, why shotgun is not damaged yet? Man, what? That's kind of insane. All right. So, shotgun went for some serious lamb system, that's for sure. We have decoys, we have lambs, we have... Uh, this is like the decoy stuff that uh, a lot of the steel strider stuff uses. For example, uh, a megalodon. Which is a pretty formidable ship. Um, so, yeah, let's see here. EMP, EMP. Come on, armor piercing EMP. Do some damage. The broadsword is down to 98%. <clears throat> if we only can get into some broadside range. Um, or broadside angle, rather. Range is not a problem. Not after they upgraded Cram. To actually go with 300 meters per second. What is going on here? And seems that that's some serious anti missile system going on there. Man, that really just fills the air with uh, shots. 91 percentages versus 91 percentages. It's a little bit more even than last time, that's for sure. So we keep their lambs busy with our ant-missile interceptors. Whoa, no. Come on. Alright. But it's so much quicker than us. Alright. I'm like... I'm starting to wonder, do my... Yeah, my torpedoes work. I was kind of worrying. Do they even work? Or have I, like, failed to set them up? I guess the lasers will take them out when they get too close, right? Huh? No? He, he ain't got no angle for those. He can't take them out. Well, that's some EMP and frag. Right there. Nice! There we got some nice broadsiding there. We we missed that shot, but that did that that did some damage, my boys and ladies. But it's probably like uh, one hundred boys for every lady or something. Um, from the depth is uh, a kawaii male heavy title, at least according to. The YouTube um, statistics. Oh, we shot off that turret. Mm, yeah. mm, broadsword. Mm, just cut it off. Just mm, kill it. Beautiful. Those are scary, though. Oh, anti-missile systems. Uh, very nice. It looks like the broadsword is able to beat the shotgun's HMS paper. We shall see, though, but uh, it is uh, looking like a bright future for the broadsword. I'm so happy. I I'm gleefully happy. I'll probably just jinx myself and lose in the end, because gleeful happiness never ends well. Anyways, uh, let's, let's be mature. The shotgun won against the broadsword. First battle. No question about that. Then, I spent 10 hours improving the broadsword with all sorts of things. Now it is better. Shotgun did not get the opportunity to upgrade the HMS paper. So, uh, that said, I'm still hoping to win this. And I will be happy if I do. <clears throat> I really try to make the broadsword as good as possible, but the concept of the ship in general isn't, like, efficient, really. So, yeah. Oh, 
our missile interceptors. Our laser pointer weakened them up and boom, they could <clears throat> took them out. <clears throat> Very beautiful. So HMS paper is down to 77 percentages and uh, we still have some scary cannons. They can uh, they can deal a lucky shot and just kill us, but I think that our constant EMP spamming has probably made it so that the HMS paper by shotgun has shit detection now. That's what I hope at least. Oh HMS paper below water under 80 percentages. I think it might reach despawn status as soon as those last bits get underwater. Oh, we uh, shall see indeed. Or if it actually will reach under 65 percentages before that. That's also possible. 55, I mean. Oh. Beautiful. This, this is art. The broadsword delivers art. Again, more art. Jimonism, you have a you have a weird sense of art. And I say no. This is the art of war. Ah, 42 percentages. The broadsword is indeed the winner. Amazing shotgun. You are out of this thing. Beautiful. Oh, I'm so happy to win a battle. I'm so happy. So happy. Very nice. Very nice. So, while we gleefully see the HMS paper uh, getting torn to pieces by the broadsourced armor piercing EMP and vast cram volley. Which, by the way, is 2D cram, despicable old tech stuff, but it works. Um, but it's not efficient. Beautiful art. I'm sorry, Shotgun. Thanks for submitting this, but uh, we finally... Wait a minute. What is, what's up with these? Why did you use one ex... No. Shotgun. Did you use a insane amount of 1x1 applique panels just to try to do some aim point spoofing? Because this is what it's... Th th that's exactly what it looks like. Now I'm feeling much less bad for uh, for gleefully winning over the HMS paper. If you used a lot of 1x1 Eplic panels just for aim point spoofing. Anyways, moving on. The victory is ours! Woohoo! Hooray! All men on deck. And women. Anyways. Next up, we have the setups. Ravager S with a cute little drone. And this thing won last time. So now we shall see how it fares against the upgraded broadsword. And that's an intimidating fast fire. Man, that's some serious, serious, serious APS. I remember that thing uh, taking out our AI last time. Maybe I remember wrong. Uh, it's hard to remember. We did a lot. Like, thanks a lot, guys, for just submitting all these ships that's kind of amazing but sometimes i just can't keep the battles apart man poor, poor, oh don't kill my main turret though then i be then then i will be sad anyways right so our oh look our anti missile missiles are going against the uh, the little target there cool so let us see what is going on. Right, the setups is at uh, setups Ravager S is at uh, 98 percentages and broadsword is at 95, and that is shit aim if I ever saw it. Potato aim broadside. What the hell, man? It's really pummeling our side. There is just bam, 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 bam. Scary stuff. 
EMP and uh, what not, just killing everything. That's efficient stuff. Come on, broadside, do some damage. Why are... Okay. Oh, it tries to shoot the drone. That wasn't very smart. The drone is kind of... Uh, com com you don't need... Come on, broad... Broadsword, you don't need to use cramps against the drone. Just leave it. Focus on the main enemy. <sighs> Sometimes, a lot of the times, I wish I was the captain over the broadsword because the decision it takes is awful. And I'm sure that most of you feel the same. Now our lamp system is gone. Sad story. Now let's see if this broadside can indeed uh, hit some marks. Because switching from aiming blocks, uh, aiming against blocks below water was the best thing we ever done. Like honestly, when you have cram cannons, the speed doesn't matter. If the speed of your cram cannon is 1 meter per second or if it's 300, 400, 500 meters per second if you use the mortars, the armor piercing or thump damage is the same. The thump and armor piercing damage does not depend on the speed of the cram shell. So, uh, having your cram shells go through a little bit of water buffet before they hit the enemy is absolutely fine. No disadvantage. It just increases the chance of your cram cannons hitting something important. So yeah, that's kind of cool. Just if you didn't know this, now you know it. Broadsword is at 84 percentages and the Ravager is at 90 uh, percentages and uh, those cannons sound scary, I must say that. Bam! This thing is a little uh, looking a tad bit sad. I'm thinking, yeah, the broadsword feels like uh, just a chill moment. I'll, I'm just gonna switch sides. Uh, don't mind me. Try to not. To, uh, please, please don't kill me. I'm just casually going to show my aft, aft, not as aft, to you for a while, and hope that doesn't in uh, that doesn't end in some kind of fatal injury. And then I'm going to show you my other. No, are you running away? Please don't run. No, no. Oh no. What? Why? It shouldn't be doing this. The only reason it would... Oh, yeah. Okay. I get it. The AI compartment is absolutely gone. Now some kind of secondary AI has taken over. And I don't remember, I don't, I, we have like five, four AIs on this thing. I don't remember which one is taking control. So, uh, I don't know. Either it's gonna broadside or it's gonna ram. And it looks like it's gonna broadside, but you never know. And uh, the maneuver gets kind of uh, tricked a little bit by all of these harpoons. The broadsword is down to oh no, the broadsword is down to 75 percent. It just doesn't look good. Come on, mate, deal some damage. It doesn't listen. Hmm. <sighs> Are you back online? I don't believe that. You're not back online. This is an empty turret. Oh god. It has some materials left. I just hope it prioritizes, like, repairing the main AI. This is not looking too good for the broadsword. There is like no... The We're like doing no damage back. No, no damage at all. This is just sad to look at. And the... And the torpedoes? Nothing is working. Oh no. Broadsword is down to 66 percentages as well. Yeah. 
This ain't too good. Come on. Oh. Did we get some maneuvering back? Can we can we turn and give it the broadside before we can we at least end this in style? Bam bam bam. These are some serious APS cannons, I feel like. They do some serious damage. Pop, 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 pop. I don't know, maybe it's even set up to specifically kill the broadsword, who knows. We lost the turret, we're down to 60% percent just the turning doesn't go very well anymore. Um, it's not looking that good. How are you doing here? 87 percentages. Yeah, that's a that's a solid shape. These are still spinning around. The tech the, 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 the detection is still good enough. I don't know why our crime cannons won't get there, but uh... bam! All right. Setups Ravager S seems indeed to be the winner here. It's definitely the winner here Congratulations setup. Uh, this is a strong ship. Good job um, Good job indeed Right so I guess that 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 kind of ends it because this is not recovering it really is not. It's desperately trying to repairing, but these APS cannons successfully hold it below the reparation. Right, that's a that's a heat shell or a hash shell. I think it was a heat shell because I, I think the heat is yellow, right? Uh, the blue one is armor piercing EMP, I think. Oh, bam! Below forty. Okay, we're screwed. Set up. Congratulations. Solid build. We'll be moving on until uh, the next one, which is uh, Juzel's uh, first submission. And this is a beautiful looking thing indeed. Oh. It looks like uh, like house architecture, even though it's just uh, functional pieces, stuff like that. And this thing has a lot of cute helicopters. So cute. That gets kind of uh, spawned off it. That's nice. Anyways, let's uh, let's get this battle going. That looks cool. All right, let's uh, let's stalk one of these helis. See what happens. Our missile interceptors are doing their job. Somehow one helicopter is dead. Right. So cute helicopters, I love these. Oh. I even have glass with uh, like edges and stuff. That's mimics. That's some advanced stuff going on there. I don't even know how that's made. That's cool. That's some nice mimicking going on there. And the broadsword, what is the broadsword doing? It's uh, already damaged a little bit. Um, damn, I feel like I should have added a, like a generic vertical launch missile barrier to the broadsword when I was upgrading it, because that would really help with these situations. But we got a lot of small arms that are anti-air, and they should be able to take on these helis, to be honest. I don't know why they are not doing that, though. Come on, Jussel. Are you running away from battle? <laughs> are you a pussy? It looks like it. Stop running away. F face the enemy! But the broadsword isn't the best enemy to face, because it's kind of scary when you face it in close distance. It's easy to take out if you keep your distance and just pop, 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 fire some sniping on it. But if you're on close combat, the broadsword is dangerous, as we've seen. 
some of the bell, uh, some of the things I've lost against in previous battles, uh, that are ships that are set up to be pretty good. Uh, some of them did indeed lose against the broadsword when I fixed it up, and many of those times were because uh, we did come up in close combat where we could hit successfully with our with our things. So the broadsword is actually leading material-wise. This is kind of interesting. But I, I don't know if we'll hit very much from that distance, though. Now we are playing in degraded mood, so it's kind of hard to see the cram shells coming in there. And their, their accuracy is uh, mixed. All right. Maybe it's more interesting to look at the anti-air cannons doing their job. And the anti-missile missiles do take out the missiles, that's nice. Alright. Interesting. So, we are technically in the lead, but I wonder if our materials will hold up long enough to actually uh, kill this thing. That distance is insane, though. It's almost like disqualification levels of distance. Man, that's so far away. Ugh. Alright. Like, seriously? If we just look at the map... This is the distance. <laughs> Come on, mate. This is the distance. Alright. We'll uh, sit it out. It's only been two... Uh, two measly minutes in game time. Our anti-missile missiles are doing their job. We did upgrade them quite some... Quite much, actually. And that's needed. And now our crams think it's reasonable to target the helicopters. I'm not so sure about that. But I feel like our small anti-air cannons, like why are they not firing? Like these ones should be firing and these ones should be firing. Maybe I just forgot to hook them up at the correct channel. Maybe they just are hooked up to... Yeah, that's possible. Because, like, mainly we only face, like, one enemy. So I could have missed it. Uh, since most of them have battleships and some of them have them uh, with, like, helicopters and drones or stuff like that. Like we've seen in this little video. We'll see. Yeah, a generic vertical launch missile, signal processor, radars... Um, stuff like that, APN guidance would have been really handy in this situation. Would have just decimated those helis. But we don't got, we, we, we ain't got that, so uh, we'll just um, chill in. Mm -hmm. We are, oh, okay. But, um,. And these shots are spread far in between. Kulakov battle cruiser is down to 88 percentages. Some of the shells actually get here. Interesting. Now we're like a proper slow mo battle, that's for sure. Oh, dealing some EMP damage, are we? Is there any. Sorry, I need to pause. Is there anything inside of these? It's a spin block. With... What are these? God, I can't see. It's cameras! That cameras, right? So it's like a detection unit. Okay. And they kind of spin and they'll always see something. Cool. 
somehow our crime shells are getting air. Boof. That dealt some damage. Crams are... They're serious damage dealers. Crams are scary. Uh, if they hit, they are scary. Usually they won't hit, so they're not so scary. But yeah. And damn. What's happening though? Oh, did we AI kill this thing with our EMP? Armor piercing EMP. Let's go. I'm I'm joining the AP EMP theme. Um, uh, team theme team team team. Amazing. Awesome. Jussel, Jussel. This is your first mission. I know we have another one, but but your other your other submission is actually dead already. Jussel, good game, good ship, but this time. The upgrades to the broadsword made it so that we were able to win. And I'm very happy about it. Um, because otherwise I, I would have spent 10 hours uh, doing this uh, with no effect. So apparently, I don't know if it was 10 hours, I'm just saying that. But anyways, we should now move on to the next battle. Next up, we have Netra Meira's first submission, which is the Oxomoko. And this thing is actually a big bit cheaper than... Uh, it's like half the cost of the broadsword. It's crazy. And this thing won the last battle. So this thing is... Uh, this is some top level stuff. You can see it even has like interiors and stuff. You can walk around in here and be like... Be happy. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, Netra Meira. Awesome. Man. Now I almost hope you win. This is just an... Oh, they even have the proper arm wrestling setup. And you just made... You, you just put mimic time into making these arm wrestling guys sitting at a wooden table inside of here. Having arm wrestling, a wood like lead light, and and another guy like sleeping. Man, and like no one would probably ever see this. Let's, let's just. That's awesome. That's awesome. I don't know. I don't know if you have any more Easter eggs inside of here, but that's awesome. And it's not even visible. It was just pure chance I saw him. Anyways, uh, super cool. Super cool, man. I love it. So, Netra Meira's first mission. NNV Oxomoko versus the Broadsword. And this has a nice zebra shape. So we are already confused. And our armor piercing EMP is uh, sorry about the controls. Hopefully doing its thing. You saw that? It shot a hole. Beautiful. Broadsword is still at 99 percentages. That's good. Now, I don't remain, remember what the Oxomoko's uh, main weapon or main way to deal damage was. So we'll see about that. But the fact that the Oxomoko is like half the cost of the Broadsword... Man... That would be so impressive if the Moxomoko won this battle as well. When I've upgraded the broadsword, if it wins with half the material, that's some legendary build. That's some serious, awesome stuff. If Oxomoxo win this, I think that's one of the best chips I ever looked at. Because winning with half the material is insane. And the broadsword has it had it weakness has still, but had more weaknesses. And I try to fix those. And if it still manages to win, that's pretty insane. And I don't know what's up with the like slowness. Let's check if we have if there is some problem with like damage debugging.
Damage debugging, no. Nothing there, okay, good. Then it's just the regular battle. So, the broadsword is now lower in material than, uh, lower in, not material, no, lower in health than the um, Oxamoko. Which is 98 percentages. And that is long ass distance. Man. That's some long distance battling. Okay, we're gonna stay with this thing here and see what happens. It just stands there and just aims. Alright. It has some missiles going on there. Staggers and stuff like that. Broadsword. Will it be able to get the crams close or... Damn. These lambs are pretty strong it seems like. Come on. Please, please. Oh, no! No cigar. Oh, 90%? It just, what happened though? Whoa, one of those crams hit. One of those crams hit bad. They hit real good. Oh yeah, we blew up something inside of here. Didn't No, that's just armor. Anyways, we won't get lost inside of here. Uh, we blow up something important, so the broadsword is technically in the material lead now. And we have our... I wonder if our APS system is still alive. It doesn't look like it. It looks like our e uh, AP EMP system is dead already. And that makes sense because we don't have no uh, emergency ejector diffuses stuff, whatever. Which is good. Bam! These crams are doing some damage. Beautiful pink shields, but... Uh, yeah, the crams are still getting through the EMP defenses. Uh, some of them get shot down, but... Uh, many of them get through, so Netramera is down to 89 percentages. Oxomoko, see what you can do. But the distance. This is a long distance battle again. And I don't know, it makes sense. Why would battleships want to be uh, this close anyways? Um, it makes sense. It's just that, you know. But um, that missed. Boom! So we got some piercing and then some explosion and we have a lot of rods. Rods, rods and rods. I like this kind of angle. For having a missile system like that, that's pretty cool. But um... I'm, I want to see, Do does my anti-missile system... Will it be able to take him out? Oh! Yeah, it did. It did. Beautiful. Broadsword 98. Oxomoko 85. More crams incoming. Looks like a win for the broadsword, actually. And since the Oxomoko is like half the percentage of the broadsword, I think that the uh, the Oxomoko is a darn good ship. It is really, really, really up there. It's a it's a good ship. Even if it loses, it's a super good ship because it's just so much cheaper than. Uh, most of the other submissions in this, and it still manages to get such a good performance. It really looks like front siding uh, is what we want to do. It's probably the thing that we should be aiming for for our next battleship. Sorry, sorry. Oh, or the one we're building. Yeah. It, uh, it it kind of con confirms some earlier subs sus suspicions. Anyways, the broadsword, uh, it has some materials left. You know, it does. It would be sad if it ran out of materials. 
Now another volley is incoming. And with this kind of degraded mood, it's uh, hard to differ between simple weapon shots and uh, the, the cram shots. Oh yes. Oh. Oh look, our main gun is up again. Since we don't see the traces, I kind of missed that a little bit. But our main gun is alive and kicking. Kicking, alive and kicking. That's a fast fire gun. Look at that, that's some four, two, 2400 RPM maybe. Bam! You can see the cramps just deletes, deletes portions, even though the frame rate is kind of sad. Right. Fast forwarding, forwarding a little, a little bit. Um, the Oxomok is down to 78 percentages and the broadsword is at 95. But it lost its materials. The broadsword used up all the materials. So, I'm wondering how this will end, because the Oxomoko has 170,000 materials to repair with. So it can, like, repair itself. And, uh, man, like a battle where we run out of materials is, like, never fun. It really looked like the broadsword would have won this thing, but now I'm not so sure anymore. We'll see. We're at 94. We still have some shots left in the gun. If we're lucky, we might be able to take something important out before... Uh... Yeah. Since we get back a little bit of uh, each block destroyed, we get back like 5%. So Netamira is at 70... It's still... Okay, 76.8. 76.6. So it seems we're kind of able to keep this thing at uh, bay so far. With this little gun here. That's kind of interesting. Well, we'll see how this goes. Um, it's only been five in-game minutes. Which is a long time. The broadsword is also ticking down, but the Netramera, the Netramera's Oxomox is down to 76 percentages. We'll see if we win this thing or not. It's not entirely sure. Uh, we don't see the EMP anymore, but I hope it still does damage, you know. Netramea 75. Oh well, I guess we'll chill a little bit more. Yeah, so the Oxomoko is still ticking down. We still seem to be able to do enough damage to be able to keep the gun loaded. Alright, it's been uh, 8 in game minutes. God knows how many actual minutes it's been. The range is like insane. The broadsword is chilling like this, and sometimes it's doing a tad bit of damage thanks to some uh, torpedo or whatever. And the Netramera's NNV Oxomoko is chilling here, and it seems it's unable to gain back any offensive capabilities. Oh, now th something fired. That was something amazing. Yeah, it just chills there. It it doesn't like nothing. It doesn't repair quick enough. Uh, it doesn't. It has material storages, but to be honest, we're closing on the ten hour mark. No, ten minute mark. Not ten hour mark. Uh, and uh, 
The Oxomoko is a great design. It's much cheaper than the broadsword, so it should have lost like properly. But uh, I mean, what is this? I think this is a draw situation again. Yeah, that's a draw situation. Netramira, first submission. This is a draw. Very good build indeed, I must say. It's kind of interesting how such a uh, such a cheap ship can actually be so darn good. But with that said, uh, that's a draw, so let's move on to the next battle. Alright, next up we have Snivilord with the Lancelot Dreadnought cheaper version. Because uh, this does look cheaper, huh? it doesn't. Apparently it has some turrets and stuff removed to make it cheaper. Uh, I suppose they would have been there in any normal circumstances. Yes, because that's an empty turret well. Alright, the broadsword is down to 92%. What happened though? Scary. Our main gun is still online, which is good. Yeah, this is a serious ship. And it also uses cram. With engine parts strapped to them to make them look cooler. Which works. It really works. Kind of remember the Steam Lord doing something similar for the uh, the steampunk battles, the steampunk tournament. If you remember that, damn the broadsword is down to eighty six percent. Jess, what's happening though? What? Wow! <clears throat> it's a hole in the engine. Scary stuff. And the missile interceptors. Damn! Wow. These cram cannons are no joke. No joke. And these crams, did, did anything hit? Barely. Lancelot is, is at 99 percentages still. Broadsword is at 81. Our main gun is still online, but it seems that uh, the Lancelot is... She's EMP protected good enough, so our armor-piercing EMP doesn't penetrate deep enough to do anything, really. Wow. The Lancelot is back to 98. What? Well, so this is 78. All right. This is a... This is a, ser this is serious business. A serious business indeed. Bam. God damn it. Those crams. Man, EMP. Oh god, everything is gone. Yeah, so even after two minutes, the Snivel Lord's Lancelot and Dreadnought, even though it's the cheaper version, it's so darn superior. Those cram cannons, man. That's some serious damage. We can't we we just can't. That's that's amazing. It's it's a clear winner. We we can't recover from this. Congratulations, Snivy Lord. Very good job indeed. Um whoops, even with some upgrades, your Lancelot, she just completely owns the battlefield. No question about it. It's uh that's a strong boy. Strong boy confirmed. Yeah. You see that bomb? Like 180. Just cram. Frag. 
yeah, that's some cool stuff. Um, very good, very good, very good. We uh, we we can't. So uh, congratulations, Nivelord, you win this one again. Shoe to be you, Schlachtschiff of the shoe. Did I butcher that? Probably. But that's probably good for Schlachtschiff because it's probably something about slaughter. If I uh, know my Ger Germanic language is good enough. Alright, so let's see if our armor piercing EMP will give us an edge this time or not. Bonk. Oh yeah, we took something offline. I think. Maybe not. This will be interesting. This battle, I don't know how it will go. The, the, the lambs are pretty good too. They take out most of the cramps coming in there. Our cramps uh, from our cram cannons just uh, won't get through. Alright, are the turrets EMP protected? Yes. They seem to be that indeed. And now we get our first, uh, oops, cram volley coming in there. Oh! Boom! That's a hit. That's an APS system. Bam! Now we're at similar percentages. We spam the area with some simple weapons. Won't do much against this, but uh, worth a try. And uh, Schlacht Shift of the Shoe is running away. Probably trying to get some distance there because uh, we are trying to harpoon it in, but the harpoons won't really reach it. Broadsword is down to 90 percentages. Um, the APS we got shot with is uh, is some serious damage dealers. Oh, many of the crams won't do much damage. I think that's the AA crams. But we keep them coming, keep them coming. Right. No. Right. So what's happening here then? We continue to barrage the chew with uh, shells and shells and shells. But the broadsword is still down to 89 percentages. So it seems we don't do damage in a high enough pace kind of we do the damage but uh, we need to do damage faster in order to beat this thing i think mm. Right. So now we get with another, uh, some more cram shells hitting there, and two ninety three broadsword eighty nine. We'll see how this turns. The armor piercing EMP is still doing its thing. It's not offline yet, which is good for us. Very good indeed. Yep. And it's just so far away. So, 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 so far away. And the broadsword is burning through the materials pretty quickly. Um, Schlacht's shift of the shoe is burning through the materials much more slowly. Um, so it looks like it will turn. I'm starting to think it's it's gonna be on one of those super slow bells. Come on, cram volley. 
Please just hit every single one of them. Well, if you hit. Which gave us back some materials, which is good because we need all the material we can get to be able to continue to deal damage. White. Oh, that thing. They just despawn. Damn, we can't reach so far because the, there are too many in the air, so they despawn. So sad. Right, so simple weapons has like a projectile limit thing. Oh. What? Okay. Chew is down to 87.3, so actually the broadsword is technically in the lead now. It has 41,000 materials left. Right. Three minutes in game, are you kidding me? Right, so three minutes is in game. God damn it. Uh, the shoe, the schlacht shift of the shoe is indeed at 85 now, while the broadsword is still remaining at 87. All right. Mm hmm. Yeah, this is a little bit slow, not gonna lie, and the distance is just too far. Um, but the broadsword is still in the lead, technically. I wonder though, some of the, uh, seems like the armor piercing EMP has been able to take out some of the cannons. Um, or some of the other systems, I don't know, maybe it was frag from the, uh, from the crams too. But right now it's just uh, doing its thing. And we'll see. Oh, we shot off a pretty chunk there. And there we go to cram volley as well. <clears throat> oh no, the broadsword has zero materials now. Oh, you're kidding me. But the damage we deal, we continue to shoot, 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 and we get back some materials, right? Right. Skipping forward a tiny bit, the broadsword is still in the lead, de dealing slowly damage, enough to replace uh, its ammo, it seems like. And uh, Shu is shooting back. And we're closing into each other in terms of uh, materials, to be honest. All right, I'm not dealing with this anymore. It's uh, it's one of those battle where uh, Chu to be you, Schlacht uh, shift of the Chu, doesn't deal damage quickly enough for us to certainly say the outcome of the battle, and it's like dependent on what angle the broadsword is at. I don't think we have a definite answer until like, like I don't think we'll get the definite answer within ten minutes. So. We're just gonna say this one is a draw as well. So, uh, congratulations uh, to uh, to be used. Schlacht shift of the shoe. Uh, this is probably uh, around the same, well, goodness level like the broadsword. So, it's a solid build. Next up we have Netrameira's second submission, NNV Triton, which was which was also a winner. So let's see how it holds up with our upgraded broadsword. Hop. Looks like it has some serious lambs there. They properly shoot down our incoming armor-piercing EMP shells quite reliably. Not all of them, but most of them. And it uses a lot of... Uh, missiles? 
So I wonder if our anti-missile system will be able to take it out. It seems we can keep these missiles at bay. But then we have the APS system as well, so which, which is uh, kind of dangerous things. All right. Netramena is uh, Netramera's uh, NNV Triton is at 99, and the broadsword is at 94. And now we actually got some broadside material going on there. Wonder if these will actually be able to reach the target. That seems like a fat miss though. Boom, 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 boom. Bouncing shells a little bit here and there. But if one of those cryon shells detonate in an important place, it can be devastating. Right. So, wonder where this battle will... Uh, turn into. Oh, right. So we got the uh, missiles coming in there. See if they get there or if our anti-torpedo systems will be able to take them out. I think they work, kind of. Here we have one. Nah, that's just the lost thing. Okay. Right. So it's only been one minute in game time. <clears throat> Kinda slow battle. Seems like we don't get the proper broadside angle. Um, now we do. Question is if the lambs will be able to take out all of them. Not all of them, but that was some measly damage, I feel like. And our main gun, is it still alive? Seems not. Right. So we shall see any of those shells going to hit. Hmm. All right then. Seems like a slow thing. We kind of have equal material as well. So I'll we'll see what happens here. This is one of the slowest battles, like in actual in-game moments, it's not much, but there is some proper lag going on here, so it just feels like forever. Yeah. Right, the battle has progressed, five more minutes, which is uh, in-game, two minutes. And the Netramera is now behind, because uh, something, I, I don't know, something took out some turret or something, I think. Um, so it's st it's still going this insane like snail pace uh, and ooh, the broadsword is getting low on materials as well which is kind of problematic so um, yeah we'll see how lucky shots we can get with the cram basically if we get some really lucky shots with the cram we can definitely win this, otherwise it will be one of those broadsword gets no material left and uh, the enemy regenerates and come at us again and uh, we add an extra hour or something like that. But we're not there yet, we might avoid it. Ah, those, those lamps are good, those lamps are good, which is not fun for us. Just 18,000 materials left. Oh no, that jumped over. Oof. Okay, let's see here. We got the light arms volley. 
Some big crumbs going on there. They went above and below. All right. Just 8,000 materials left for the rules, so come on. Do some damage so that we actually can uh, reload the shots. It just has a lot of material storages. Wolf? That did something. No? Huh. And the broadsword is running out of materials. Oh no. There we go. Zero materials. And this is at 79 percentages. This is just a... Uh, yeah. A kind of tiresome battle. Uh, it feels like if I just have would have buffed the amount of materials you got back from the bell, like in the first bells it was 10% and I changed it to 5% and that was a mistake, obviously. <laughs> because now we're just in this kind of stalemate situation where it's like slow and stuff and now the Netramira gets back to deal damage. Alright, uh, we waited for uh, quite a long time. It's gone five endgame minutes, and by now, the Netramera 2 NNV Triton has successfully been able to defeat the Broadsword since the Broadsword ran out of materials with this rule set we set up. So, um, Netramera's second submission is indeed a winner. So, Congratulations very much. Which uh, will leave us at the last battle, I believe, for this um, little thing. Very nice. So we'll go back with menu and set up that. And here we have... Anthony Taps late submission BB11 in the Dictator, and I believe this one faced a slightly upgraded broadsword. So see if the more upgraded broadsword will be able to beat this thing or uh, not at all. So we got our our armor piercing EMP. Does it even hit anything? I think it does. So see if it has an effect. Now this I'm kind of will be interesting. Ooh, the EMP takes out the first cram shots going on there. If I remember correctly, it can't take out all that we have to offer. So it can't take out all the uh, like a, a proper like broadside. Fortunately, otherwise we'll be definitely doomed. Okay, the lasers. We have some laser. Q3 or Q4 maybe. Turrets going on there. Anthony Tap is in the lead indeed. We haven't gotten the opportunity to show the broadside yet. So we shall indeed see how that goes. God, that slow motion though. But um nice looking as I mentioned before. So how is the broadsword doing? Wow, we're taking some heavy APS shots to the front here. Our Torpedo system is completely offline. We got a torpedo defense system, that's online. Right. And we're not showing a proper roadside yet. That's that is problematic. 
This is kind of a weak laser. I guess that's possibly because they have to go through the shields, but... Anyways. Show him a, show him a proper broadside. Come on, come on broadsword. Come on. Our main APS gun is still online somehow. Hopefully we've been able to disable some detection, but it doesn't seem like we've been able to take up a weapons computer. It seems that uh, Anthony Tapp's BB-11 in Interdictator's uh, weapon controllers are EMP protected. There we go with some, e with some broadside. Oh yeah, we just fill the air with uh, those revolving blast gun shells and some crams we go with some simple weapons going on there see if we can get some crams in the air as well i'm kind of curious will the lambs even try to target these not really they they're not devastating <laughs> they're good in numbers but uh, they get really slowed down by the water it feels like Anthony Tap is at 97 and uh, Bonk, that was an internal detonation for sure. That did so oh wow, that's so exposed. Man, that was so close. If that would have been some a sharper frag that might have blown it up. It didn't though, but you know. Now we got another volley. We're just uh, throwing rocks at it. Yeah, we're continually, uh, continuously throwing a rock at this area. It's only been two minutes in game. Somehow. And we have so far failed to take out the turrets, we failed to hit the same spot again, unfortunately for us. Let's see what the next volley would bring us, but the broadsword is down to 80, uh, 9, 89 percentages, so it's probably soon time for it to switch sides. Which might turn out to be a really bad or really good move. It the temp depends a little bit on luck, to be honest. Mm -hmm. And those lambs They're pretty efficient Won't take out everything which is good for us Our anti-missile system does however Keep the uh, Interdictor's Missiles at bay it seems Alright Alright the broadsword has decided to switch sides. Which is probably a smart move, to be honest. And uh, these are, one, are not as EMP'd as... Ah! Uh... Uh... Oh! A few of them go through. How nice. Eighty-eight versus ninety-eight percentages. Now the blast guns go off for some reason. It seems that the broadsword's engine has taken some damage because we lost speed, which is really bad for our broadsiding capabilities. Yeah, here we see some explosion there. And we also have only 3,000 materials left, which we can't use them all to repair, we can't use them all to deal damage, so we really need to hit all the future shots here and deal some proper damage to be able to get stuff back. But now we missed some shots there, okay. 85 versus 95, <clears throat> we got them back some materials, but the broadsword eats them away pretty quickly, I must say. That rhymed. Amazing. 
Well. We got some cram shells incoming there. That missed, or did it went through? I think it missed. A lot of shots miss here. And the broadsword is at 84. We have successfully gotten another broadside away. Let's see if the lasers will be able to take him out. No, some of them got there. And that's some uh, dire needed materials for the broadsword indeed. But we were at 83 and uh, Anton Tap is at 96, which is definitely in the lead. Um, the interdictor has the upper hand because uh, it's set up to combat at a higher distance and the broadsword isn't quick enough to get into uh, the closer combat like it uh, wants to. Also its engines are damaged and the... Uh yeah, the engines are damaged and the materials are empty. So... It's a matter of minutes, and not seconds, unfortunately, but it's a matter of minutes before the broadsword is losing this battle. I don't see us getting out of this now. Indeed. Very nice. Of the uh, Anthony Taps. BB-11 Interdictor. It is indeed the winner of this battle. Very, very, very good. So, congratulations, Anthony Tapp. This is, uh, this is a clear win. And, uh, yeah... I'm going to do like this, I'm going to go into my folders and after these uh, battles for the for the like uh, re-battles I'm going to uh, delete the losers and I'm going to keep the winners for some further testing with some future vehicles. So I kind of have a little nice, uh, what, what to call it, procured folder with your builds. So the builds of yours that were the best, I'm keeping them for future testings. Uh, for the next battleship uh, that we're building, for example. So that can be pretty fun, I think. So I do hope you enjoyed this little video. And if you did, please leave a like and I'll see you next time. This has been your host with a really long, too long, one and a 40 min one and a hour, one hour and 40 minute spell. Holy cow. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching, and if you've watched to all this time, I am very uh, thankful um, that you found it such, a, such an interesting entertainment that you wanted to watch it all. So, special thanks to you, I'll see you next time, uh, and of course, thanks a lot for to, to our patrons and YouTube members, uh, and I'll see you next time. This is Jimidism, and we're signing out.